What's going on, Internet? It's uh, Eric Bandholz, back again with another Beard Brand Alliance video. Hope all is going well on the other side of the internet. Today, I figured uh, let's do a little bit of maintenance beard trim and uh, talk about life. Some philosophy stuff. Should be fun. Let's go. All right, as you can tell, my beard's grown out a little bit. I uh, got a little bit of neck stubble, a little bit long here. Mustache is growing out, and uh, I kind of want to show you guys how I do my normal uh, kind of trimming as of late. How do I keep it looking sharp? You're probably not going to see much of a difference, just a little cleanup. But I also want to talk about life. I want to talk about life and, uh, I don't know, some things I think about. For this, first thing you're going to need, trimmers. I'm going to start with the neckline. Uh, usually I go a little bit long with it. Uh, Sometimes I go short. Doesn't really matter. Grows back. Let's go do it. Talking when trying to do a neckline is not the smartest move. That's a quick and easy way to screw up your neckline. So uh, that's why I was a little bit quiet there. But I'm gonna get in there. I've been thinking a lot about marketing lately. And as you guys know, Beard Brand's a company. We make ads, we make emails, we do all that stuff. And I've been thinking about like just I like marketing to dudes and the messages that dudes get. I feel like when companies market to men, they go really juvenile. I feel like they take the humor, it just goes down to boobs and butts or some kind of like middle school humor. And you know, just, I don't know, like kind of caters towards like the assumption that men are just these stupid, idiotic people. And I've been thinking about like, how I want to market to men. And you know, if, if you've ever been following us for a while, hopefully you'd notice the things that we do or the things that we don't do. And we try to avoid a lot of the hyper masculinity, be a man, do this thing, look like a Viking. Rah, 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 guns, 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 shoot, shoot, shoots, boobs and butts. And uh, that's just never been our style. The beard brand way is like, we do want individuals to, to help themselves. I think a lot of my thought process is like, I'm a dad, I have a wife, you know, like I'm no longer on the market trying to pick up girls, anything like that. So like the whole like selling sex and selling uh, you know, like the getting laid and stuff like that just doesn't resonate with me. So we, we tend to avoid it. My favorite guard is the three millimeter, six millimeter guard from Brio. Uh, I like to start with three and three is kind of for top of the cheeks, sideburns. And then I, I want to do a little bit of taper down here so the line's not as hard. Maybe I can fade this out a little bit. But you can hear it, not a lot is hitting. Here a little bit. Now I'm going with six and I'm gonna pretty much open it up all the way. So this will be essentially the longest guard that I'm going to go and this is going to be the, the longest my beard's going to go so this will give me more freedom all around uh, the entirety of the beard uh, trimming up a lot of length and then from there I'm going to kind of blend between uh, the open six and, and a close six and then uh, an open three. One of the strategies that from a marketing perspective that I've kind of been thinking about is like marketing to, to people who read. If you get over to the, the Beard Brand website, you'll notice that it is not like your typical 
e-commerce website. There's words there. And, you know, we, we kind of just try to tell our story and try to share what we believe in. I don't know. I just think there's something romantic about the written word. And if you get our emails, you kind of notice that as well. Like, it's not just these photos of products and sales and discounts. It's, you know, we're, we're trying to communicate a message that's important to us that we feel is important. In today's environment, I think it's really challenging to be a man, especially a young man. You know, I know I talked earlier about marketing and talking to, to dads and stuff, but I think the young guys out there in this generation of like social media and phones, just I think it's really challenging. I think like, you know, like trying to find your place in the world, how, trying to communicate to people your value and the worth and things like that it's, it's not easy and you know there's a lot of scrutiny and pressure like you can't make mistakes like when I was a kid we didn't have cell phones and I, I could make all the mistakes I, I told plenty of inappropriate jokes that I don't tell anymore um, but I found those boundaries and I can't imagine that if I told that joke on Twitter you know I might be canceled and, and I think that's part of part of life is that we grow over the years, we make mistakes and we learn from them. And the person who I was in college, the person I was in high school, is not the man I am today as a 40-year-old man. So I've learned a lot. And to hold people accountable to those past actions um, seems a little counterintuitive to the idea of growth. Like, I do think that people should be judged in the present for who they are. And of course, if I'm still demonstrating the behaviors that I demonstrated when I was in college or high school, then yeah, Okay, that's fair to, to judge me on that. But if I'm a, a different person who behaves differently, who um, does things differently, who communicates differently, then you should judge that person for the, who they are today. Now, what to do with this mustache? I've been growing it out. Um, every once in a while, I'll see an old photo. I'm like, man, that's really cool. And the mustache was just like a, a little bit bigger, a little bit, you know, a little more brash. And I kind of want to go back to that, but at the same time, the bigger mustache is a big pain in the butt. I think for me, the hard part is the tips of the mustache really kind of have their own mind at a certain point. So when I trim this, I'm going to continue to, to leave a lot of the length on it, but I'm just going to focus on trimming up the ends. Now that my mustache is more of a handlebar, I kind of want these hairs towards the front to be a little bit shorter than the hairs to the back. So it has like a kind of a swooping motion to the back. So when I trim back, that's kind of the goal I'm going for is trying to hold my fingers at an angle that would achieve that where I'm knocking off more of the hair uh, towards the front of the mustache and leaving a little bit more in the back. I also found that knocking out the hairs right in the center of your lip and coming down in a V shape or a reverse V shape is really a, a convenient style because it dramatically improves your eating ability um, when you have less hair right in the middle. So uh, I tend to, to take that a little shorter and again, leave a little bit more length on the end. One mistake I made in the past with a mustache is uh, essentially putting a guard over the clippers and, you know, cutting the whole things. And what that does to me is it, it creates like a completely different look for a mustache. I think a better looking mustache is going to be one that you essentially trim right around the lip, right above the lip. But, you know, like the, the top of the hairs, the ones closest to your nose, are going to be longer than the ones that are growing right above your lip. And then you have a little more waterfall look, a little more solid looking mustache versus 
something that kind of like pokes out all at an even level. So if you're going to trim up your mustache, I recommend either using a, a pair of scissors to kind of take along the bottom like that or a pair of trimmers. The last thing I usually do is just kind of rub, feel my beard, um, see if there's any kind of long hair, see if I need to take a little bit back. Uh, so I'm going to give it another once over with the six millimeter open. And you'll notice when I trim my beard, I always try to go with the, the length of the hair. If I go against the grain, I'm gonna find that the hair will get a little bit too short. So uh, it's a little bit better that way. Get the hairs off. Last thing I'm doing is getting some utility balm. This is a limited edition black sales that we had. We will have a limited edition again this year. So make sure you're on our newsletter to get words on that and uh, I love the smell just kind of like your skin's getting irritated from the razor and you just want to smooth it down treat it hydrate it give it a little love so there you go that is kind of like my uh, my routine as of late a little bit bigger mustache a little bit shorter beard uh, a little bit longer hair, uh, a little bit of love, a little clean neckline, not entirely faded, but a little bit taper up in there. And, and I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Uh, have a good day. Cheers. Keep on growing. Hey, hey, I'm glad you've been watching these Alliance videos. Woo, good job. Hey. Do yourself a favor, treat yourself to a little treat, and come join us. Join us at the Alliance. We would love to have you. See you soon.